Yeah, man. Over the 100 at Jamaica. Um, Stephen Francis said you had some challenges last night. How were how you last feeling? Last night? Yeah, well, this morning. Well, apparently, they came, they came to do drug tests where mm. we were saying that it's just the heat. You know what mm. I mean? We understand it. If it's at the final, we want to know. Um, I had run from season and and I hope my season it's such a fast time and it was in the heat. So I'm so I say this look suspicious. <laughs> so I'm say So I'm saying to them say you're not gonna test me again say well the bird is the bird is still in my car. Yes, it doesn't make any sense. You guys could just wait and just test me in the final. Yeah. I'm say, no, it looks suspicious, so if you do it. Eh? Yeah, but how does your body feel now after such a you know great cause the rounds is the important thing, it's something you're gonna have to navigate in Paris. How does your body feel after three rounds of height level competition? It's feeling tired good, mm -hmm. not tired bad, as in if it was a minimum of me expecting this feeling, it, it, it is this feeling. It's not something that I can't manage, mm -hmm. something that I expect. Mm -hmm. Then again, it's the first I'm actually doing rounds, mm -hmm. so I'm really satisfied. Any lessons learned from the rounds that you think you can take into Paris? Yeah man, because um, I hadn't done rounds. Up until this very moment, so I, I didn't know how to, one would say, conserve. So I tried it in the first two rounds, but one I nearly dropped, two. Um, I just didn't know, know how to apply myself with that speed because yeah. I never did it before because yeah. I never did rounds. Yeah, so, but yeah. Yeah, so, my section. Seem to have looked across the room with 8 and, and shut it off. Talk, talk, talk us through the race itself. Um, so, yeah, Steve Francis, my coach, he instructed me just to run, just to run the first 60, nothing more. After that, shut it down. If, if I came second or third, I made the team. The, the goal wasn't to prove anything, it was just to run a 70 or a 60 and see where, where I'm at. That was in the final? Yeah, man. Wow. What, what, wow. Does, what, does, what does today's run, following back to back run, say to you what you can accomplish this season? Um, honestly, I have a lot to improve on in terms of physically and mentally. Um, uh, I was playing catch up some, in, in some sort and I was trying to adjust and go at the same time. This, it's, it's kind of all new to me. But I'm, I'm getting it slowly. First Olympic. Actually, no, I know what I'm capable of and I don't really, if I do something that person who says so-called great, um, I understand it, but I don't really believe in being complacent. I will look past that. That's, that, 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 job, that job has done and it's time to move on, you know? All right, so what's next for you? I mean, rest and recovery, obviously, but I have other races planned between now and... and yeah, August. man, we got some technical things to work on. You know, my transition, my um, snapping down, my turnovers, my reaction, and just, you know, staying fit and healthy. Mm -hmm. Tell All me right. something. A quick question before I get right to you. Mm -hmm. In the summer final, you, you, shot, you, shot it down, you clearly shot it down early. Yeah, and, and you'll drop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and 984. Did you have a sense of how fast you could go in the final, given what you saw in the second, or you felt in the second? No, I didn't. I, I'm going to be honest. I, I'm, I'm not sure how fast I can go, but the time did not surprise me tonight. And as that, so that's just me right now. Uh, all right, Kishin, your first Olympics. Um, what is the feeling like for you right now to know that you have qualified for your first Olympics? Really? A great and humble feeling. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. But yes, for man. Me, the Olympics, I saw the 2008 Olympics and it, it set my standard to cement myself in the sport. So from there I know that I wanted it. So yeah, it's a really good feeling. So in terms of your goals that you have, you'd have set um, out um, in the sport, Olympics obviously is one. What um, would be the next um, goal? Uh, would you like to share that with us? or if needs be? Uh, no, I, I'll keep that to myself. All right. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. No, I said like, yesterday when I asked him about the 982 that he ran that he hopes to stay healthy. What do you want to send? What do you would like to send him a message? Oh, he said that. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, oh, I have nothing to say honestly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, just go first, go kill them, dog. Congratulations. Yeah, man, thanks, bless, love. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Cool. appreciate one person. You're oftentimes going to be here to Asafa, that's something that we hear for here. Asafa, Great icon, yes, Asafa yeah, Pose. Yeah, Asafa once ran 977, I believe, to break the night the world record. He ran that tonight. Uh, is that a woman? Is that something you think we're looking at? Repeat the question. So I saw for once ran mm -hmm. 977 to break the weather card and you ran 977 tonight as well. Mm -hmm. uh, is that like a, a good woman? You know, you're, you're often compared to him. Is that like a, you know, some a good woman? Honestly, it is a good, it is a good comparison, but to each his own, I am me, he is him. No, no offense. Yeah. I, I really, I really respect and love Asava Paul. He has done so much for the country. You know, I mean, yeah, they are a comparison. We're explosive, about the same build. Yeah. But in the day, I'm, I'm me and he's him. Yeah, on the topic of the greats, Kishin, I mean, what can you learn from the greats that came before you, really? A lot, man. Like, man, those, those men were like, <laughs> one would say beast, but that's an understatement in my eyes because at one point, they got, those guys were running four rounds, man. And like, they, they weren't just fast. They knew that they were fast and they could have they could have controlled their speed. Like like the stop of their fingers. Like they could they could like slow down from like fifty and like running like nine eight, nine nine, ten one. You know, so they, yeah, they, they, the standard that they have set, yeah. It it has it is so high. The, pre the preparation for tonight must have been intense. You completely demolished the track. Um, do you think that you achieved what you set out for tonight in terms of your timing and your form? Um, take away the time. The time wasn't the aim. My, 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 my aim was always to, to execute. My first couple of seasons, even though I've, I've always suffered from injuries, I, I really struggled with execution, even though I had raw speed and talent. But uh, I wasn't patient enough. I wasn't patient, patient enough with my talent and speed. I believe at one point I was supposed to go like faster and faster from zero to hundred. But you can only do so much in the hundred meter. The next, the next half hour, like quarter of the race, like maintenance. But in terms of me executing what my coach said, yes, I, I did a fair enough job. But, I think that will always keep me humble and be driven for more. And moving forward to Paris, based on tonight's experience, what will you be working on for the Olympics? Technically, I'll be working on, on everything. I always can better my best. If someone said that, hey, he has a good transition, or hey, he has a good reaction, you know, I always can better it. So anything that I did tonight that if it was in the public eyes that it was phenomenal or good, always just keep him be being better. You yeah. ran past the field and went all the way around to your coach. What went through your mind as you did that? I mean, as I was before in the race, I was talking to myself and I said, listen to Frano, listen to Frano, <laughs> listen to Frano. Push, push, push. <laughs> snap, snap, snap. <laughs> Control the race. Amen. So I did that, but. I saw myself in front, so at one point, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to slow myself down, but I'm just not slowing down enough, so, yeah. I mean, I'm just going to go right to him and say, hey, I did what you said, you know, yeah. and this is the result of it, please don't kill me, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm because I don't want it to seem like I'm not following instructions, yeah, yeah. because, you know, I really believe in, in what he says and do, because, you know, he's, he's bringing me so far. Yeah man, congratulations yeah, Kishin and all the best going forward. Last day before you leave, um, you seem like you're just having a lot of fun. You know, what a difference a year makes. Speak to me about where your mindset is and how you continue to enjoy the sport even though it's coming down to crunch time. Um, the competition can be really tense because you know all of us want to win. But I always tell myself, hey, track and field is based on competition and despite that you got persons like me we're, 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 that been through a lot of setbacks and I just want to be a sense where we can run fast and enjoy ourselves you know because from a, from a tender age I always I, I, I always love the sport but I love to enjoy myself in it 
So, you know, I just start, I start getting back that feeling because at one point it was so very tense because I couldn't get to go out there and do the uh, two